and you side it through to the next round of the cup. How pleased are you? No, delighted. I said to them before the game, no matter how they play or, or what happens, the aim was going to be to be in the next round um, come the end of the game, and, they, and they've done it. We've done it the hard way, or by it. Um, could have been a little bit more comfortable on chances, but I'm really, really delighted with their effort, their desire, and their attitude to go and put on performance. First half, you're excellent. Could have been three or four ahead, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, and that was the frustration at half time going in when we're thinking game could have been a little bit out, a bit, little bit more out of sight. But second half they showed a different side to them because this year has been they've had every game they're sort of their own way. In second half they didn't have it their own way and they dug deep into a place that they haven't had to go before and they managed to show that character to, to see them through. In particular, Dan, Daniel Crease and Chase Grant were unstoppable in that first 45. Yeah, no, they're very, they're very good on the eye. They've been, they've been like that for the last two or three months. Chase is direct. He's got fantastic quality. Even, even if no plays on his weaker side, he's got that little bit of quality. And Creasy's, Creasy's a fantastic little footballer. He's been, he's trained with the first team this year, which is, which is his reward for everyone he's done. And yeah, for the first half they were both probably the standout for us. But it was, there was, it was a good performance out there by a lot of boys. I heard you scream on the touchline. It doesn't always have to be pretty. And the second part of the second half, they certainly had to battle, didn't they? Yeah, no, like I said. They they show a different side to their game because um, we go out and we play and we move the ball out of tempo and we cut teams open and we score some fantastic goals but second half it was backs against the walls it was hard hats on and, and going ahead and putting bodies in the line which, which I'm really proud of them for that, for that effort Speaking of screaming you sound like you're losing your voice a little bit Yeah, no, I was, a, I was very focal on the side and I do kick every ball um, I think I get that from the gaffer um, but, but yeah, no, I'm losing my voice but I'm very pleased to be in the hat for, to, for the next round Playing on the first team pitch tonight, the lads seemed to revel in it, didn't they? Yeah, no, it was something before the game you could see them uh, trying to um, before the game coming out after coming out coming out they were they couldn't wait to get out and they showed that um, in their performance, their tempo, their desire. It was, it was I think it was a reward they deserved. Hopefully we can get a nice home draw again in the next round so they get the opportunity again. The FA Youth Cup is certainly an excellent competition for them to gain opportunities and experience, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. And you, you get a lot of exposure from it. You saw last year when we beat, we beat Northampton, the knock-on effect they had for the likes of Ben Goodliffe, who obviously moved on to North after that. So yeah, that's a massive opportunity for them. And everyone remembers playing in the Youth Cup, and hopefully this year we can we can go and we can go on a progress and try and get to that third round where we've never been. The aim has got to be as well as that third round to beat another league side along the way, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. No, definitely, we've got the we've got the personnel. This year we're we're more second years. Where last year we were more first year. So that little bit of experience, I think, will, will help us. But that you never know in a knockout competition side, so we'll take every game as it comes. As well as this game, it's, it's the under 18s have been in excellent form so, this, so far this campaign. Yeah, so that, that ticks out of six now. Um, and so some of them haven't always been pretty, and today shows that when they've got to roll their sleeves up and they've got to dig in, they, they've got that within them. And if they're going to go and have careers at this level or at any level, they're going to need that in their armoury. So, yeah, really, really proud of, of how they've done so far, but they know they haven't achieved anything yet. We're only six, seven games in, so we've got to continue that same attitude, that same discipline, that same desire to try and kick on.